சிவாய நம திருச்சிற்றம்பலம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் டிஸ்காஷன் ஆன் திருப்பாட்டு செவன்த் திருமுறை தேர்ட்டீன்த் பதிகம் அண்ட் வி ஆர் டிஸ்காசிங் த செவன்த் வேர்ஸ் மாதார் மயில் பீலியும் வண்ணுரை உந்தி தாதார கொணர்ந்து எற்றி ஓர் பெண்ணை வடவால் போதார்ந்தன பொய்கைகள் சூழும் துறையோர் நாதா உனை வேண்டி கொள்வேன் தவநெறியே this exactly follows the same pattern as the earlier six verses as well so the first two lines talks about the beauty of the uh, river the third st- uh, line talks about the beauty of the place or the wealthy uh, display of that particular place called as turayur and the fourth line is the uh, request to make sure that uh, our guru is in the uh, path of penance that's exactly what this particular padigam is also talking about so if you look at this as we said the first two statements first two lines talks about the river right the river is coming in such a forceful manner that because of that what happens is the entire water is formed up i'm not talking about the foam that is coming in right now because of the toxins and all the toxic uh, uh, beings that is being uh, mixed with the water we are not talking about those but this is the natural fr- uh, froth that is coming in because of the speed of the river the second one is the river is also bringing in all the beautiful feathers of the peacocks which is supposed to be there in that particular place so the river is coming with such a fearful in in a fearful manner bringing in all the feathers and um, uh, you know whatever it can possibly see on in its way it just brings in and that is the river called as pennai now this particular place is called as thurayur and this thurayur has a lot of water bodies and the water bodies are making the place more livable and the water bodies are making the place more heavenly so there's a lot of gardens and there's a lot of uh, place where uh, f- uh, flower there's a lot of flowering happening over there there's a lot of flower plants and trees over there and that is the beauty of this particular place called as thurayur and he says nada nada means master oh master i'm requesting you to make sure that i'm able to stand in the path of penance that's exactly what we should also be asking now let's look at this phrase or the this particular word called as master what is a master's duty what should a master possibly be doing to a disciple right if you look at it the master's very important uh, duty is to ensure we are in the right path what is the right path that we are talking about tirukural is explaining this beautifully in uh, one of the uh, uh, tirukural verse 270 uh, uh, the tiruvalluvar uh, says something like this if you look around us as of today we are able to see very few people who have the real knowledge remember knowledge is different from learning and acquiring some kind of a um uh, certification or uh, whatever it is intelligence is different we all know wisdom is different there are very few wise people why so because when we talk about wise it simply means certain some of some of them have not only read the books but they have also acquired it based on what lord shiva is supposed to give us very few people are wise majority of the population is not and tiruvalluvar explains it's because the majority of the population is not wise because they are not in the path of penance that's exactly what a master is supposed to do a master is supposed to guide us in this path make sure that we are getting the right intelligence and we are able to proceed in this path of spirituality or the religious path in a more comfortable manner and also in a more stern manner that's exactly a master's duty and that is why probably nambi arora is using the word nada which literally translates as master in this particular verse i'll come back again with the next verse very soon until then sivaya namah tirchitrambalam